Web APIs are one of the most exciting parts of Firefox OS. They allow the developer to access the internals of the phone and all the sensors that you have in modern smartphones. In this screencast, I will show you how to use Web APIs effectively and how to read your battery and use the device light. Firefox OS uses JavaScript APIs that allow for hardware access that historically only native code provided. These APIs created by Mozilla and partners are called Web APIs and have been proposed to the W3C for standardization. This allows for them to be used in other platforms in the near future. Many of these APIs are implemented in the Firefox OS simulator, which allows you to use them right now without having to have a real Firefox OS device. Web APIs allow your apps or websites to communicate with internals of the hardware they are running on. There are many APIs, and as always, you can find information about all of them in the MDN wiki. Let's see an example of how these APIs work. In this HTML page, you can see a basic implementation for accessing and displaying the battery level and detecting how light or dark it is around the device. We can access the battery API by using the navigator.battery property of the browser. You can inspect properties of navigator.battery, such as level or charging, to gain information about the battery level of the device. Here, we set two listeners for when the battery charging status changes or for when the battery charge levels change. And when they do, we will change the text content of some elements in the page to inform the user about it. Below that, we can find an example of another API, the Device Light API, which provides information from photo sensors about ambient light levels near the device. By adding a listener to the event Device Light, we can change the text and background colors of the page to provide better readability for the user under different light conditions. And here we can see our application in action. Web APIs are definitely one of the most powerful parts of Firefox OS because they provide web technologies that can access the device internals without needing any native bridge.